Hey everyone, how are you doing today? This is Lothanka bringing you another Battlefield 3 commentary. I've hopped into this game a bit late, as you can see. I've just spawned and I'm doing the engineer kit with the M4A1 red dot sight and laser sight and eventually the fort grip as I've just unlocked it. And this is called Operation Metro Rush, and that's a little bit of a stupid gun fight. But that's not the topic of today's video. Today's video is a uh, little idea I had about Battlefield Theatre. I know you've, everyone who possibly watches COD, who's also watching this, <coughs> may be thinking, uh oh, they're just going to copy that off Call of Duty. But, everyone copies off everyone, so I don't think it really matters, to be honest. Anyway, that's not the point. I was thinking, uh, if, if uh, EA include Battlefield Theatre in, I don't know, maybe the next patch, then I think the game would become, well not the game, um, YouTube for instance, would become a lot more popular of uh, montages because everyone has had those montage clips which they haven't recorded because they missed. And here you see that guy, Hawkass, whatever his name was, uh, he he goes after me a lot, you'll see he kills me quite a bit in this game. And some very insane shooting he does. Which I'm a little bit sceptical about, but hey ho, that's life. Anyway, back to the point. I was thinking that if they did do a Battlefield Theatre, then of course there should be availability to upload straight to YouTube, but that's not really the greatest way of uploading, is it? Anyway, uh, because, and I also think that montages would become more common because everyone would be able to get the, uh, their videos in. Because, like I said, everyone has those clips which they missed and which they really wanted to get. But the main problem with Battlefield is that you can't get them. Once you've uh, done them, you can't go back and watch them. And that's the whole point of uh, Battlefield Theatre. And I personally would think it would encourage more YouTubers and expand the YouTube uh, community. And I think that personally would be a good idea. And I was just interested to know what everyone else thinks. So, if you're watching this and you also uh, agree or disagree with my idea, please put down your um, opinion in the comments and uh, like or dislike the video. But that's my idea and I've put my reasons forward. Because personally, I think that... Uh, montages, personally, for me, would be a lot easier to record if I could get those clips that I'd get off the Xbox onto a uh, PC, because, well, y you can. Anyway. I say anyway a lot. <sighs> Doesn't matter. That's, uh, see, that's another very insane shirt. Um, I don't know if he's using a really good mouse, or he's just extremely lucky, but... I'm quite uh, sceptical about what he's doing there, and that's a little bit of a stupid <coughs> thing I'm doing. Just let's get all the random crap out and hope that I will kill him. But if you also notice, with that guy, every time he kills me it's always a headshot, so perhaps he's hacking, I don't know. But I was getting quite annoyed that he was killing me quite a lot in this game. Anyway. <coughs> As you'll know, this video has been launched when the Olympics are out. And shut up, you stupid phone. Anyway, uh, the Olympic London 2012 Olympics have started. And I've, I'm not personally going to go see them. But if you are, please also put in the comments what you're going to go see, when. And um, I keep dropping this stupid leave that alone. Anyway. I said anyway again. I really just stopped saying anyway. Perhaps I should have a counter on how many times I say anyway. I'll do that later. Almost said anyway again then. Another swap. And I'm fiddling with tape measure. Um, but yes, and of course if you have premium. Hang on. I'm swapping topics here. Let's stick with the Olympics for a while. If you were watching the Olympic uh, opening thingy, then you would have seen that 
it goes on for a long time. I think about 45 minutes till I stopped watching it because they only got to H so I just gave up and I left because I'm not the sort of guy that liked watching loads of teams. No offence to teams but I don't like sitting around watching groups of people walk on and wave and then disappear. I don't find that very fun. So I um, I just left and I, wa uh, I watched a fair amount of it but so far I haven't seen any uh, actual game things yet. But that's not the point. The whole point of the Olympics is well hopefully Britain win. No, I'm joking. I don't I reckon uh, I don't know who will win to be honest. I personally think that probably China will win. And this is a this is a little um, roundabout train for you, which ends up in me dying because that guy using the USAS, which is always irritating. But anyway, I'm gonna swap over to about the battlefield and talk about Armored Kill for the next two minutes or so. As you can say, uh, in Armored Kill, uh, if you've seen the new trailer, there's new weapons and new vehicles. And there are also new, apparently new game modes coming out, which are always going to be exciting. I personally can't wait, to be honest. I don't like the AC-130, I think, I think that's overdoing it a bit. I think it's not, it's, if they don't get the uh, damage right, I think it's going to be too powerful. I think it's going to be far too powerful. I think it's absolutely going to slaughter the majority of the people playing the game. But then again, for once, it's actually rather easy to take out. Which is, thank God for it. But I think, I don't think it should be in it. But anyway, I'll talk more about Armored Kill in my next video, because this is now coming to an end, because for some reason, the end of the footage didn't record. But I win and I get, I think, like a 1.9 KD, so not brilliant, but not terrible. Anyway, so thanks for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe, and wait for the next video. Goodbye.